She's absolutely awesome. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi, April. Welcome. Yes, sir. Huh? Yeah. But, but just don't worry about it. I want to just talk to you just a minute. I love you, Charlotte Crosby. I've loved you for so many years, and you know that. I want to talk about my fabulousness. Over here. This man, I'm going to start with you in the middle. This is Raymond Del Barrio. And Raymond has done many, many, many things. Just to name one one with me. This is the choreographer and the assistant director of Sister Emma. Yeah. I'm my brother and I love him dearly. And Keith, this man has sung with, let's see, you name it, you won. Just got finished with, um, what's her name? From the BET Awards. Tamil 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 Man. resume that doesn't quit. And the fact that when, when I was reading about them, at first I said, well, I should be singing for you. <laughs> and this one, you turn on the TV and watch the Young and the Restless and a whole bunch of other stuff you see this stage. This is an actor, but also a singer. These are men of God. These are my friends. And they're here to love me with you. This is my husband. Thank you. 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 Thank A few years ago, I went to the audition for the Wiz, not for me to audition. I went with my girlfriend, Mimi Lucario Dumbia. She was auditioning for the role of Evelyn. And she said to me, I had given her voice lessons, because that's what I do. <laughs> and she said, when it was the night before her audition, she said, I said, you have to do this. They set your appointment and it's at 1 o'clock tomorrow. And she said, I can't do it unless you go with me. So I said, okay, fine, I'll go. Now, that Saturday night, this was on Monday, Saturday night, the stage manager and a couple of the directors had been to my show at Sweetwaters in New York and had seen me perform. So I'm backstage, I'm hovering and I'm out of the way, going to say, be safe. And he goes so high. Stage manager looks up and goes, I know you. And I go, no, you don't. He said, yes, I do. I said, no, you don't. And I didn't do it. <laughs> Whatever, but I can do it. He said, I know you, and you did it. I saw you in sweet water, and I was like, I did. <laughs> I did it. And I want you to go and audition, walk right after you audition. Well, Linda Twine is sitting there, the keyboard player, and she takes the book, she pushes it in my hand, and she said, this is what you're going to sing. I start singing. Lord and behold, we, Mimi didn't get the role of Evil Lee. But Jeffrey Holder and Ken, and the kids came walking up the aisle and said, I want you to be in my show. This was, kids, this was in December. And they wanted to send me to Chicago in December. <laughs> No. <laughs> but, uh, I said, no. They said, yes, you have to go and you have to be there December 16th. And I said, but my husband is coming from Italy or somewhere with Harry Belafonte and we haven't seen each other in three months. No, I ain't going until I meet my husband in Canada. So they said, we'll get you out of there. Anyway, I got the role. <clears throat> Went in, loved it, and was privileged to meet Charlie Smalls, who wrote all this music. And he, this man was truly a gift. And he told the lyric, when he sang the lyric, we felt it. We could breathe the 
this song. And he taught it to me himself. He said this. Put your arm around me, child. Put your shaking. And you know I love you now. I'm a 
mama would say, turn that music off, Peggy Ann. Amen. Let it go to sleep. Because if it came on Randy and Ernie's rap part at midnight, I was supposed to be sleep long ago. But I knew that this is what I wanted to do. So I listened to her. Then I listened to Elvis Presley. Then I listened to some other folks. She didn't like that so much. But then on Sunday morning, in church, I want my men to say something. What, what, what? 